I am the Art Plug and I curated Art Palm Beach Art Fair 2018. I have four different components to the fair this year. One is my urban art exhibit, one is my ending gun violence exhibit, which is called Raise the Caliber, raising awareness for victims of gun violence. Another one is Sean Kalani's Fake Fulfillment Center, and then I have my hyperrealism booth, which is called These Are Not Photos. So we have works from some of my favorite artists here. We have Mr. Brainwash, we have Maurizio Zuluaga over here. He specializes in rubber band art, really cool. Over here you can vandalize the painting, it's gonna hit. Here we have our surveillance activation. There's 16 cameras that are set up throughout this exhibit. You can watch people throughout the booth right here. A-Hole is one of my favorite artists of all time. I've been a collector of his for years. That's actually how I met him. I, was, I bought a piece and then I, I fell in love with his art and him as a person and became one of his dealers. <laughs> and now I'm showing him at Art Palm Beach. He did this beautiful mural. He's got these beautiful works on canvas originals. Over here we have Banksy's and Space Invaders, some of the, the most well-known street artists of our time. Wizby is another longtime friend of mine. Um, he's a great artist from Brooklyn, New York. John Paul Fave is from Costa Rica, and we decided to work very closely with him in making this activation happen and installation. Here you have like these masks you put on. They have their blow up doll installation right here and a few more of his works. Tiago Magro, he did a nice mural, painted some art over here. This is hyperrealism. The two artists are Rinzi Stanley and Ayo Filade. They are from Nigeria. These are not photos. They actually take anywhere from 100 to 400 hours to make one piece. It's so intricate and so well done. And these are probably the two most talented hyperrealists in the world right now. So this is the Raise the Caliber activation. My name is Doug Schwartz from Detroit Wick. These are shreds and all the acrylic is all from buybacks. So anyone with an illegal or unregistered firearm can turn those weapons in and then actually walk away. So it gives people a chance to get all these illegal guns off the street. And we then weld all the firing pins, we shred all the guns, and then encase them in one-of-a-kind loose sight sculpture. These guns were used in crimes, so as I'm holding them, I kind of can imagine what they've done, which makes it kind of powerful. Kind of gives me the, the goosebumps. <laughs> it's crazy, man. I'm Tracy. I personally do the photography in this space, and I take the shredded guns and I submerge them in a tank of water, and then I rapidly photograph as I pour paint into the pieces. And this is kind of what happens. We want to tour this activation around the country to create awareness. I'm taking talent, I'm providing resources, and I'm helping artists get to that next step. And I'm willing to take the risk in showing these artists because I think that they're the future. We took a very non-traditional non approach to a traditional art fair. We wanted to engage more with the patrons and, and do something a little different.